There are a lot of courses available today and uh, one that actually attracts a lot of people is anger management. And I'd just been thinking about that when I was reading James's letter. I, I love the letter of James. It's, it's so, so very practical. And he talks about being uh, quick to hear and slow to speak. But he also says that we need to be slow to anger. And I know people that have really thought, well, being slow to anger just means counting up to 100. And then, you know, when that doesn't work, let's try counting up to 100 even more slowly. But, you know, sometimes we need a bigger incentive than that. And the incentive that James puts in his letter when he's talking to, to us about being slow to anger is that we need to realise that, and this is what it actually says, I'll read it to you from James 1 verse 20, human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Now, somewhere in that, I think there's a big incentive. Now, I know that anger really rarely produces any result that we desire. Uh, it just winds us up and sometimes inflames the situation and changes nothing. But to know that what God is looking for from our lives is, is righteousness. And he's, he's, he's rooting for us in that. That's what he wants to see coming out of our lives. And, and so he's saying that, that, that when we get angry, it doesn't produce the righteousness that he desires. Now, I'm sure you, like me, want to, to live your life pleasing to God. And here we've got something that can really help us. And actually, it's something that can make us stand out as different, that when everyone else is just losing it, by God's grace, we can have that calmness that, that speaks of his righteousness. So I want to encourage you with that. Take those words from James, be slow to anger, and just reflect on the fact that we're here to produce the righteousness of God. And who knows, that might save you having to go on an anger management course.